Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here and we are finally back with some more Fruits Basket. This being the first episode, the premiere of the final season, season three, whatever you want to say, episode 51. It doesn't matter what you say. All that matters is that we're back for more Fruits Basket. And you know, this is it. I, I think it's actually been announced for one core. So after this, like, you know, that's it with Fruits Basket. And, and just if the trailer was any indication, I guess like, even without watching the trailer, you would imagine, you would assume, you would think that we're in for something, right? We're in for a ride uh, with this final season. But especially with the trailer and, and what I saw in that, as always, like, I don't even have to say it. Like, I'm just not ready for Fruits Basket, though. Y'all know what it is. Um, but really what this season, we're obviously going to get a lot with Akito, I, I would imagine, right? Especially um, coming off of the end of the previous season and that reveal. Probably going to get a good amount of Akito focus. Obviously, everyone's going to have focus. We're going to have, obviously, like, the Toru versus kind of Akito thing sort of going on. Like, breaking the curse, that whole, you know, thing. Um, but, yeah, heavy Akito focus. I was saying, like, Kurano as well. I want a lot of Kurano focus, and I think we're going to get that. And even Shigure as well. And I think this all kind of ties in with Akito, the focus that we're going to get on her. So, I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for this season. Toru, Kyo... I mean, my boy Kill, you already know, Yuki, Machi, you know, where they're going to go with that. I don't think they're going to get as much focus or as much shine in this season, but I want I cannot wait to see how that develops as well. I cannot wait to see all of our characters back, and I cannot wait to see how this season goes and how everything leaves off. I know I'm kind of looking ahead towards the future, but, you know, we're, we're in for something, and, that, and that's to say the least. Um, but I'm excited, and I'm also nervous to get into this final season, as always, because... This episode right here and this whole season is probably just going to put us through a bunch of like ups and downs as Fruits Basket usually does. You'll be happy one moment, next moment, you're you're bawling your eyes out, you're on the verge of tears or whatever the case may be. Like there's barely ever any in between, you know? Uh, so we all know what it is, but I'm excited. I'm ready to get into more Fruits Basket. So with all that said, everyone, let's hop into the premiere of this final season. Here we go. A whole another banquet. Okay, so we just getting put right into it. This Toru talk in here. Everyone is waiting on the other side of that promise. That was in the past. Okay, I was like, Toru's talking here, but okay, this is in the past. I was wondering what it what it was. The original memory forgotten by every with who they just showed right there, this has to do with Akito. So we just start going right into it. Oh I thought we were gonna have another scene there, but this shit just came in. Oh, I love that with the panels, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this might be the best fruits basket OP off the rip. Oh, this is too good. This is too good. All the pairings, bro. Is that Momiji? <laughs> Hold up, bro. <laughs> that OP. It went, oh my god, that OP just hit so hard. The, visually, but then when it came in, the especially uh, it was like Toru's, uh, not Toru's, uh, Kyo's bracelet, right? When it was like broken, and then the shit came in. How they, oh my god! But then the panels with like we saw Toru on them, we saw Machi, oh dude, and then all the pairings, and then the characters that are kind of alone, like you had Kagura, you had Kurano, bro, like visual, <laughs> visually and the song. Like I said, this. This might actually be the, my favorite Fruits Basket opening. I know it's first listen. I know it's first watch. So maybe take it with a grain of salt. But first watch, there's, there's some great songs in Fruits Basket. Like OPZ, Ds, all that. Don't get me wrong. Like I don't think there's been one that I've disliked. But this... <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, that was the reveal we had at the end of the previous season. I mean, it was pretty, and I always slipped up anyway, but it, it was, like, kind of pretty obvious to me. But I think it's even more than that. Just the reveal of the gender. Akito's been raised as a male. So, although technically a female, she decreed it. Someone who almost saw you. Oh, the cameo! Are we finally gonna see her? Or just, why is she just, like, sitting in here, like, reaching her arm out like this? She has some troubles mentally. Okay, so that's probably why. I was questioning this. The reveal... Ren Soma. Oh my god. Oh, we gonna go. We're diving into all this shit. Is that just like what? That's just how it is? They hate each other. Okay. Instantly, what I think of with this, they hate each other, right? And she's apparently ill mentally, physically, all this. 
Now, I know I'm thinking bigger picture here, but I cannot help but think about this. And sorry that I paused here, but because if we're going to have this whole Akito versus Toro kind of thing going on, breaking the curse, all of that, Akito and her mother, look at this right here. They hate each other. You see Toru and her mother and just how loving and how caring of a relationship that was. And then her mother passes away. Her mother is still alive, but they hate each other. Man, I'm telling you that plot point and, and just that, that's instantly what I think of that. Oh my God, bro. She said, don't touch him. And she said, don't call him that either. We're connected in a world that you can't reach. Hasn't she said something like that, similar to Toru, maybe? Those bonds aren't real love. This is probably why she can't comprehend or doesn't know what love is. Because of this, I, mean, I guess her relationship with her mother. Oh my god. All right, yo, this is this is what we saw in the in the trailer. How about you tell me what's real then? Oh my god. I, I mean, is she right? Is she right? You know, saying like how what position are you in this talk about this or like what's real or not? Akira and me. Do we know who Akira is? What a relationship, right? To hear that from your own mother? Is that Akira? Right, so was that her father? That's my only guess right now. Okay, so this is what we saw at the very beginning. When that, when they all woke up, right? Because yeah, we saw Shigure, Hatori, Ayame. I'll see you soon. So now the stuff at the beginning that we saw is starting to make more sense. Really? Me that wasn't me shouting. Never betray Akito. That's so that's like the bond of the promise they're held to. I see something else too. Still someone he cares for and still someone he wants to be there for, right? Why you gotta add, why you gotta add in extra shit? Why? Just why? I don't think any of this should go on Akito. Like, this is like, opened my eyes. And I always figured there was something behind it. And, oh, I see a crying girl just like Kurino is saying. I can't push away a crying Akito. Man. Yuo-chan. I see it. I see it. Come on, we already got to see Toru crying. Are you, are you, oh my, come on. I know it's the final season, but. Wow. Yeah, that is, that's, that's a lot. That's something else. Come on, dude. The season just started, man. Oh, this is making me feel some type of way because now here's the thing. I know how much like from the shit that we've saw with Akito until this point, I, I we've only really saw like one side of it, right? We haven't really saw what's behind this. I always assume that there was more behind this or there's a reason why she is this way and why there's why they hold on to these like, the, you know, these bonds and this like in Akito's case, like with the others, like especially with certain characters, right? Like now it makes a lot more sense. Like but still even before that like she's a like like colonel said like she is a broken character even though she's done these things like i don't really place the blame on akito if anything it's on i guess ren you would say this is fucked up i don't know what else to say really besides that it's twisted it's it's tragic you know and but now my eyes have kind of opened to why akito is this certain way man she's still here saki Saki, ja 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 ja, <laughs> and Megumi here too. Oh, man, when you need him the most, right? Your your friends. <laughs> Toru is in my custody. <laughs> oh, that that phrasing though, right? Yeah, the way she put that. Good guess, <laughs> good guess, right? You you right. Hmm, she gray. <laughs> So Shigure knows or has an idea on what was 
you know, spread to Toru what she learned about. <laughs> no, <laughs> they don't have Toru, so someone got to do it. <laughs> oh, that's an easy answer. That's an easy answer. Right. And I care about you. I love you. Like, you're my friend. Like, this is what I'm here for. Like, this is what friends are for. Very valid reaction, emotion to be feeling. Just all this that was just given to her right here. So much to take in. I couldn't even imagine getting all this at once. Because there's so much with it and it spreads to so many people around her that she cares about. To be fair, I, I wouldn't know much of what to say either. Yeah. A hundred percent. Hey, they transitioned of my boy. They transitioned of my boy. Was that the was that the thing that flew away? Oh, it flew that far. I worry that one day they'll crush you as the car runs over. Bro, stop. And we don't want that. Don't even put that thought into my mind, yo. Don't even. Oh, you old child. You old child. Was this what she said when she said, Megumi, you know what to do? Or, or maybe maybe it's something else with Megumi. <laughs> I love this trio so much, dude. I love this trio. It's too good. I just love dummies. Oh, my God. Oh, Megumi. <laughs> Megumi coming in there. <laughs> Facts? <laughs> My heart pounds as I'm surrounded by older women. <laughs> okay, Rinj is still lurking around everywhere. You came out your room, huh? Again. Well, I guess Akito forced you out of it that, what, that time. That's not good. If you're trying to get, like, Rin wrapped around your finger. Romance, friendships, life. I mean, this series goes into all of that. Oh, the the scarf. Kill, come out. Where you at? My boy. Yes, sir. Man, watched it too. <laughs> she puts it right around her. Oh, pom-poms. <laughs> thank goodness they left it off with a scene like this, this episode. Like, thank you. Yuki loves to see that. Yep. <laughs> Kyo turns and starts drinking the milk. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Man about to start throwing up the milk. <laughs> Man, that's how you have to do it. But this trio, just too good, man. This trio. And then the Kyo and Yuki, oh, that was just, thank goodness they left off the episode with that. Oh, these designs look like straight from like the manga. Like for the ED here. Like it's not actually the anime. It doesn't really actually look like the anime character designs. Hey, there's Haru. We didn't see Haru at all in this episode, did we, my boy? We see first time we see him in this season is in the ED. I still can't get over the new Momoji look either. What a way to come back for this season of a fruits basket for this final season. Like if this is any indicator. I, I know it's just the regular fruits basket stuff in terms of just like on an emotional scale, but I feel like if this is like an indicator for this season that we're going to have all that stuff that just is normal with Fruits Basket, but I feel like it's just going to be like the scale of it, right? It's just going to be on another level. If this episode here was any indicator, like with Kurono and what Kurono revealed to Toru, it was a lot. It is definitely a lot. Like with Akito, of course, and that's kind of opened my eyes up to, to Akito's character and I guess gives me more uh, different understanding or a different look or just, a, I guess, a different side or whatever you want to say of Akito's character for sure. But then, like, with Ren, that relationship with Ren in, in Akito, the, the mother-daughter, and just that, there, there's so much there. There's so much there with it. So it's definitely understandable why Toru was the way that she was in that moment, not being able to say anything. I would have probably been, I know everyone's different. I probably would have been similar to Toru in that case, honestly, in how she was, not really knowing what to say, not being able to do anything. It's totally understandable, though, it, at least in my eyes, right? And then, but 
then Saki comes in, Yuo Chan, and you and you need that, right? You need those people to come in there. When, she was at a low point right there. Her friends come in and kind of it brings you back to earth, essentially, right? It brings you back to a place where you're like, whew, right? Calm down, smile, you know, spend time with these people that you care about, that you love, and and c- come back to earth and then think about it like, okay, put the, like she said at the end of the episode there, put these things together like a puzzle, like these pieces one thing at a time. It was a lot that she took in right there at one moment, but in the moment, it was a lot to take in. You take a step back, right? You have a good ass night with your friends. You have this pajama party, whatever, the, the nightgown festival. You have that. Whew. Take a deep breath. And it's like, okay, one thing at a time, one piece at a time. I love that. And then Kyo and Yuki at the end, uh, I guess you could throw Shigure in there as well. Like the whole cooking thing. He was bashing Yuki about that and saying how much he appreciates Toro. But Kyo, really, like the, the scarf and that shit. What a way to come back, dude. What a way to come back. Gave us a mix of everything as Fruits Basket usually does. But thank goodness they at least left us off on that note for this episode because that was beautiful with the trio. That was my favorite part of this episode. Like, the reveal, like, with Akito and stuff, the stuff with Kurno and what he was talking about, that's that's one of my favorite things with this episode. But the stuff with the trio, Yuochan, Saki, even Megumi, even. I, I really like what we had with Megumi in this episode, too, I would say, in there. But the trio, man, it's just uh, too good. Too good. Fantastic way to come back, though. Really good episode. That OP, I cannot stop thinking about that OP. The ED is good as well, but that OP, man. That's going to be on loop. That's going to be on repeat. Like, the visuals for it hit, too. I mean, my goodness. they had Such a good way to come back. Such a good episode. I'm happy it's back. The final season, though, man. What are we... Like, we're in for something. We are in for something. Like, it's going to be the regular Fruits Basket stuff, but like I said before, it's going to be on another level as, as we go through this final season because everything's kind of coming out and everything with all of our characters. And it's like, damn, damn. So yeah, that about does it for this episode of Fruits Basket. It's back. Let me know what y'all thought of this episode. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.